All right, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to do something called linear regression on your TI Inspire. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm in a brand new document, and uh, I'm going to add a listen spreadsheets page. So uh, here's calculator, this is graphs, geometry, uh, listen spreadsheet. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to add that, so press enter. And uh, this is where uh, maybe you've seen Excel before, or maybe uh, Google Sheets or something. Uh, you can do pretty much anything a spreadsheet can do here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to up here. Uh, so this is column A, column B, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it's, it's useful if you name them. So once you're arrowed over this, I'm going to type XC for X coordinates. So I'm going to type in some X coordinates in this column. And then uh, here, I'm going to type in some Y coordinates. So I'm going to say YC. Go like that. Um, and now I'm going to add some data. So uh, I'm just making this up. Uh, so I'll start at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have five uh, x coordinates. And then what you have to do is uh, so whatever y coordinate goes with x equals 1 is going to go right here, right next to it. So it's like you're making the ordered pairs. Um, so maybe I'll go with, uh, I don't know, 9 and then uh, 6.8. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, 5.1, and then 3.1, and then maybe, I don't know, uh, 0.9. Okay, so what I have now is a list of x coordinates and a list of y coordinates. And if you look at them, this is uh, the ordered pair 1, 9 is in my data set, and 2, comma 6.8 is in the data set, and so on. So I've entered all my data, and uh, now maybe what I want to do is uh, take a look at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a uh, graph page. So I'm going to go back here, go to graphs, and add a graph page. And here right now it says F1 of X, so that means you're in function mode. If you press menu, and uh, we're going to go to graph entry slash edit, and arrow once to the right. And if you go down here, you'll see scatter plot. And press enter. So uh, that's menu three five. Uh, I don't even have that memorized, so I don't think you should. Um, here, so uh, S I think is for scatter plot one. So uh, I only ever do one scatter plot at a time. So even though when we do this and press enter, it's going to give us the option to uh, do another one. Uh, I don't recommend it. So I'm going to press the var key, which is where all the variables that I've stored live. And you'll see that x, c, and y, c are there. So x, c is all my x coordinates, and I want that to be x in my scatter plot. And then y, c is my y coordinates. I want that to be y. After doing that, I'm going to press enter. And you can see it's plotting my points, but I can't see them all. So uh, hopefully you've seen this before. I'm going to zoom out. So zoom. I zoom out. Uh, I'm going to center it here. And now I can kind of see, but what I'm going to do now is zoom box. So that's the procedure that I go through pretty much every time. First I zoom out, get a really good picture of it, and then I zoom box so that I'm only seeing what I want to see. So I see that. This definitely looks like a line could go through it. Um, maybe not perfectly, but definitely pretty close. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I want to go back to uh, my listen spreadsheets. So you could, if you like using the cursor, you could actually just uh, arrow up here and click, but that's a little harder. So what I'm going to do instead is press Control and go to the left, and I'm over here. So now what I'll do is I'm going to put the cursor, well, actually pretty much anywhere in column C, but it's right here. I'm going to press Menu, and if you look down here, we have Statistics, so I'm going to pick that. And then stat calculations. So what we're going to do is something called linear regression. Um, and what that does is it takes a bunch of points, and it basically finds the best line that can go through them. So it's the line that most closely goes through each of the points. Uh, it's not necessarily going to go through the points, but it's going to get as close as possible to those points. Um, and it's kind of an interesting process. It's a little beyond what we do. Um, but I'm going to pick uh, MX plus B. So we use point slope form all the time, uh, but in this case, we definitely want to use uh, slope intercept form because it's the only option we have. So linear regression, I'm going to pick that. And now I need to pick an X list and a, um, a Y list. So if you, I mean, it's choosing uh, C by default, which is a little weird. Uh, if you arrow once to the right, 
Uh, here I can pick XC. That's where my X coordinates live. I'm going to hit tab and then arrow to the right and Y coordinates. Um, don't worry about the little apostrophe that's here. That's just telling it uh, that it's a list name, I think. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, here it says save. Uh, this is short for regression equation to F1. We want to do that. Um, it's actually, when we looked at the graph before, there was nothing graphed. There were no functions. Um, it picks the first one available, and we'll look at that in a second. But everything else, uh, we just leave. We don't do anything. So I'm going to press OK, although you can see the result column is column D. So that's where it's going to put everything that it calculates right now. So I'm going to press OK. And you can see over here, um, so this is linear regression. It's telling you that's what it did. Uh, the equation looks like MX plus B. Then it's telling me that M is negative 1.99 and B is 10.95. Uh, it's also reporting what R squared is. Um, we're going to talk about R squared in class. Uh, the closer that is to 1, the better. Uh, and that's pretty close to 1. And uh, there's something called residuals, which I don't think we'll really get into. But uh, that's kind of how wrong you are. So that's how far each of the Y coordinates are. If you take an X coordinate, plug it into this line, it's going to give you a Y coordinate. What the residuals are is how far the actual Y coordinate from our data is from this predicted Y value. Um, we'll talk about that a little in class, but not too much. Anyway, so my line is negative 1.99x plus 10.95. And what I want to do now, I'm going to go back to the graph, and I'm going to see how it did. So to go back to the graph, I'm going to press Control, and then to the right. And so here we are. Uh, if you press Tab, you're going to see that it's asking you for another scatter plot, but I don't want that. So I'm going to press Menu. Go to Graph, Entry, Edit, go to Function, and now it's in F2. It's in F2 because what the calculator did was it put your regression equation in F1 for you. So I go up like this, press Enter, and you can see it did a pretty good job. It's going through, uh, it's getting as close to the points as any line possibly could, and that's what we're looking for. That's called the line of best fit. Um, so that's how you can do linear regression. Uh, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.